Hello, everyone, and thank you for joining us uh, for Spalding Ridge's first annual Elevate 21 conference. Uh, my name is Karthik Nagarajan, and I am a junior partner uh, at Spalding Ridge. Um, today, we are excited to be joined by Stephen Hood from Chevron. Um, he'll be walking us through his experience with the Spalding Ridge team during a recent Anaplan implementation. Um, so welcome, Stephen. Uh, my, my understanding is that you've got just a little bit of experience in the oil and gas industry. Can you please tell us a little bit about yourself uh, and uh, and your team? Sure. Thanks, Karthik. I appreciate the opportunity to be here today. So a little about me. Yeah, I've um, I've been with Chevron for over 24 years. I'm a um, chemical engineer by background. Uh, in my 24 years, I've had uh, different roles, uh, including you know refinery operational support. Um, roles in strategic planning and project management roles, and those involved opportunities both in the U.S. and internationally, in uh, the U.K., Kazakhstan, both in our upstream and downstream business units. Uh, currently, my position is the capital investment lead for our downstream in chemicals uh, business. The team I work with is you know, primarily responsible for developing an annual five-year organic capital investment plan, creating a five-year capital portfolio for our downstream and chemicals business units. And then once that's established, right, we manage it and monitor that approved plan through the next fiscal year. Excellent. Um, so you've been working with the Spalding Ridge team on a transformation effort, uh, specifically around this this planning and monitoring process. Can you walk us through what you've been working on and what necessitated uh, this? Sure, sure. So I'm I'm currently wrapping a project with Spalding Ridge where uh, the intent was to upgrade uh, the existing digital tool uh, used for capital plan development and monitoring. Uh, the need was kind of develop um, new user interface capabilities that incorporated several work processes that were being managed the traditional ways, right? With emails, spreadsheets, um, PowerPoints, other kinds of random documents, right? The idea was to build a single digital tool that would simplify all those work processes. Got it. Now, I'm I'm assuming that you know, as a part of all of this this the this sending of emails and spreadsheets and that and that kind of thing, there were a lot of there was a lot of time spent on on validating data and data aggregation and, and lots of different activities. Can you walk us through, uh, you know, from your experience, what did you notice uh, about those processes? Yeah, I'll say you know the the, the loudest message I I received when I started this role in the third quarter of last year was uh, feedback from coworkers and other internal customers about how uh, how many inefficiencies there were with both tools and processes associated with uh, capital portfolio, capital plan development and management. So, you know, based on my knowledge of, of Spalding Ridge's previous experience working um, and supporting digital tools for my team in the past, I, I reached out to them to help us come in and conduct, you know, an assessment and make recommendations that addressed a lot of these these pain points, uh, you know, I'll call them that that people were experienced with the process or with the tools. Got it. Now, can can you walk us through what what did this look like? What did this engagement look like? What are the steps that y'all took uh, kind of on this journey? Sure. So, you know, one of the first, you know key foundational steps it was spalding ridge uh, assisted my team completing uh, an assessment phase if you will right interviewing uh, capital planners in each of the business units understanding their work processes their tools you know their needs their wants in a in a you know potential feature tool so this then was taken and um, helped to kind of design what a new tool could look like um, using the agile project management process, right? Uh, we followed those those principles, and that ended up manifesting with a minimum viable product release that we're currently using for our next you know five year capital plan development. 
And that team involved representatives, obviously, from, from my team, um, from Spalding Ridge, and then Anaplan, the, the platform provider that, that we're basing the new tools on. Got it. And and what were what are the expected outcomes uh, as you're as you're deploying this tool as you're going through your planning process? Uh, what are the expected outcomes, and how are y'all measuring success? Sure. So you know, in my experience with Spalding Ridge, what I expect to uh, you know achieve is is greater transparency uh, to our capital portfolio uh, with improved user experiences for the end users. Uh, and simplified methods, right, for analyzing large amounts of portfolio data. As you can imagine, in a in a large oil and gas, you know, company. In my experience, you're going to have hundreds of projects, and um, and with different types of needs and objectives. And so, being able to analyze the large amount of data for a portfolio is something you know we're really looking forward to to being able to do. Um, I also expect to be able to eliminate all these multiple other, you know, one-off custom spreadsheets, tools, um, Power BI's, uh, PowerPoints that people are using uh, around the world um, in our various business units. Got it. Got it. And what does success look like for you? Uh, you know, as you're currently going through the process of, you know. Put, rolling out the capital, um, the the capital plan. What does success look like for you? Well, I'll tell you. You know, based on my initial experience in in my current role, success would be fewer complaints about the digital tools that are that are put in place to to manage a, a capital portfolio. Right. Um, I think success for the end users, uh, the customers of a, of a, a tool like this is simplified information tracking simplified uh, reporting and increased data analysis right i see you know longer term success is being able to give people access to information through a digital interface as opposed to you know the single point in time frozen powerpoint decks that uh, only give you one snapshot at, at one moment right um, and also where People end up spending lots of in, an inefficient use of time from developing these PowerPoints, polishing them, trying to make them, you know, say the right thing with, at the right level, right? Yep. Leaning on digital interfaces instead. Got it. Got it. So, so getting to the answer faster, people able to spending less time on building reports and more time doing analysis on them. Exactly. Got it. No, well, that makes sense. Um, now, this has been, you know, quite, quite a, quite a journey. W what advice would you share with those who are in the middle of optimizing their, uh, you know, their, their cloud applications or their digital tools? Um, what's some, what's some advice that you would give them? Well, I think, you know, the advice that I have based on my experience is probably common to many people, but, you know, the obvious things are spending the right amount of time up front establishing a, a good understanding of what is it you know you need to accomplish what are your current processes and where are there any any efficiencies right having a, a clear upfront understanding and then i think after that is spending time clearly defining you know, based on those needs, based on those processes, based on those inefficiencies, what do you want the tool to be able to do in the end? What's your end vision, your end goal, your, you know, what does that look like? How would that work? Spending lots of time being very specific, very clear, thinking about the, uh, the interconnections, the interdependencies, those sort of things before you ever begin any kind of uh, build steps. Um, another thing that comes to mind is uh, making sure that everyone that's going to be involved in the project, involved in the build, involved in the design, you know, really understands the requirements, understands your vision. They they share it. They they uh, they can you know um, appreciate it. They can uh, be part of it. Uh, and 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 doing in-depth reviews with what you're looking for, giving sample mock-ups, right? I think having those sort of bringing what's in your mind, right, to paper and showing people what you really have in mind so that it's clear before you begin. I think all of that's very critical. Mm -hmm. um, and I think, you know, in, in my experience, uh, maintaining a dedicated team 
that focus on the tasks and finishing it uh, without having lots to turn over in between, you know, building with a big picture in mind, right? The original digital tools that that I inherited, you know, first coming into this role were sort of built piece by piece over several years, and you'd have different people involved at different times. And as a result, you know, you, you lack a clear, consistent architecture, a clear, consistent design. It was all missing, right? And so as a result, uh, the use of the tool wasn't very intuitive for the end users, in my opinion. So, you know, you create frustration, you create inefficiencies, you create resistance, right? All those things. So um, I think having a, a, a smaller focus team that kind of knocks all of it out at once, if you will, right? That that to me leads to a better end product as opposed to the you know, drawing it out and having others uh, participating over multiple years. Got it. And I'd say a final piece to this is the partner, you know, that you're you're leveraging, working with on your project, right? That's a that's a key consideration to all of this. Having someone um, that um, is very familiar obviously with the, the platform you tend to use has lots of uh, organizational capability with that platform but also that uh, someone that uh, can come in and and really wants to understand the organization really wants to understand uh, the culture the work processes um, the people right so that that can help them you know better influence uh, a good product when you're done. Uh, if they really understand the the culture, the company, the the team that they're going to be uh, supporting, right? The better they they know you, the better they understand you, the the better the product will be in the end. So I think having that right partner is 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 another key ingredient to to success. Yeah, no, I mean, and, and that's a very fair point. I mean, at the end of the day, all business is personal. So in order for for you to it's not just about the technology right in order to appropriately deploy something you need to be able to marry that process and that culture with the technology right so i think exactly. that's a very fair point so any any other closing thoughts Stephen? um before we before we wrap up today i really appreciate you taking the time um and walking us through the process um you you've really helped us kind of understand how we were the spalding ridge team was able to come in and help uh, you know, alleviate some of those inefficiencies and help your team get to a point um, where 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 you're you're able to uh, to go through the process a little bit smoother than you were in the past. Um, but any any closing thoughts before we wrap up today? No, thanks. I appreciate the opportunity to share our experience, uh, my experience, what I've observed, and uh, I appreciate the chance to be able to share that with others today. Thank you. Thank you. Look forward to chatting more in the future. Thank you.